Okay, this is Windows 8.1, and I'm just now starting to turn the computer on. And right now, it's just loading up. Now, typically on this screen, it would show your name, and then you would put a password in. I made it so that you didn't have to put a password in since I'm the only one that uses it. It would be kind of a waste of time. But you saw how it was my name and my email address and that comes in handy because with Windows 8.1 when you sign up and make your account everything that you save gets stored to the cloud storage. So let's say I was making a Microsoft Word uh, project for school and saved it if at school I was using 8.1 on a different computer, I could still log into my account through Windows and pull that back up. And it also saves all your HAP history too. But a difference between Windows 8.1 and Windows 8 is you saw that it went right to the desktop before it would start off in the start screen, or the metro screen as some people call it. And while 8.1 is pretty similar to 8, there are a few differences. Um, like I just mentioned, you can make it start up right on the desktop. And let's see here. There is this Windows button right here, which is kind of like the start button. This didn't exist on Windows 8. That was just added for 8.1. When you click on it, it brings you to the start screen, also known as the metro screen. And also, the Windows key, the button on the keyboard, does the same thing. You can switch back and forth from desktop to the start menu just by hitting that Windows button right there on the keyboard. Now, in the start menu itself, there's a lot more options. Before at the background, you had a choice of a few like dark purple, blue backgrounds. Now you can make it whatever you want, including the same background as your desktop has. That way it kind of has more of a sense of continuity. It doesn't feel like you're going to something crazy different. Also, they have an option to fit more apps on the start screen which these are a little bit smaller than normal, but it's nice to have them all fit on my screen. Let me show you what it looks like if that weren't the case. Um, okay, let's go to settings, personalize. No, under personalize, you see there's a lot more options for the background. You can also do background colors and stuff way more to do with Windows 8.1 than you had for 8. And tiles, all right, if you show more tiles, I have a yes clicked on, which shows most of them. If you click no, you see they go to normal size and you end up having to like scroll over to get to the rest of them. So it's easier for me at least, having only a few apps to have the show tiles that way. They can all be shown. And you can organize them into groups. You see I put my office apps over here and you're able to label it what you want. And over here are just more commonly used apps. Okay, so going back to the desktop, we talked about if you click on the Windows button it takes you to start or the Metro screen, but if you right click on it, it gives you a lot of the same options as prior versions of Windows when you click on Start. We have Shut Down or Sign Out, Run, like if you want to run a program directly by typing in the file name, Search, File Explorer, Control Panel, Task Manager, there's a couple command prompts, Computer Management, Disk Management, Network Connections, Device Manager, System, Event Viewer, Power Options, Mobility Center and Programs and Features. Also, by right-clicking on this file right here, the File Explorer button, you can have a quick link to like your downloads, pictures, music, or some commonly used folders that you use. And there are other uh, good things about Windows 8.1. Um, most of them are just like for tech nerds and stuff. 
but it is pretty great and especially with the cloud storage called SkyDrive that really makes it handy so um, yeah Windows 8.1 works great um, as I told you like I can put it on your computer too for free and let me show you something real quick Under settings all right if I go to PC info or you know I didn't pay for this but as you see it says Windows is activated so it's never gonna tell me to activate Windows it, as far as this Windows is concerned it is legal beagle and that will never change so you don't have to worry about that at all and yep Windows 8.1 is pretty groovy